Cody Brown. Who do you, what do you got for me, buddy? CB. 12 plus hours a week. He's on PC. He plays 7-7 seven, seven, multiplier 0.45. Motherfucker, what? Motherfucker, what? Let me tweet this out real quick. Hold on. So we need to take note of this multiplier 0.45. That is slow as hell on a 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, like even do the quick math. What's half of seven, chat? You know what I mean? Dead Zone's fine. FOV's fine. Xbox Elite with all four paddles. Good monitor. 1MS. 1440p. You don't see many 1440pers. I like to see it. It's got a good headset. Huge fan of Tips and Teep series because it's not only entertaining, but Teep is the best I've seen at identifying and saying straight up what players need to work on to improve. My current KD is a 1.7. Ever since the switch to PC, my weekly average is 2 to 2.2. Damn, that's a good increase. Okay. So he's on the rise. My goal ever since Warzone came out is to get to the point where I can consistently handle 1v3 and 1v4 situations because it always looked like so much fun watching my favorite streamers do it every day after work. What do you struggle with most while playing Warzone? He thinks I take way too much damage in gunfights to be able to consistently play those 1v3 and 1v4s. When gunfights expand to multiple teams or three plus players, it's hard to keep track of everything and I'll, and I'll put myself in bad spots. Knowing when slash how to give up on bad fights to live another day. Overall, I think I'm a good player, but want to be a great player. Please critique away on what I need to work on. Message for your chat and viewers. I'm not going to be offended by what you say. To get better, you have to hear the harsh truth sometimes. I like that. Thick skin, baby. Okay. So, pretty solid player. Made the transition over to PC. His KD's on the rise. He struggles with high-pressure scenarios where he's fighting multiple people. That's kind of the gist of what we're going with today. Okay? No, I'm not ready. No, I'm ready. Let's do this. Here's my first thing. How are you going to give me a form that says, I need help pressuring people in 1v3 and 1v4 scenario, and then give me a gameplay that's called Best Solo versus Duo Game? Immediately. My first thought is like, how the fuck are you going to get better if you're hanging out playing a solo duo? Like, what? How are you going to fill out this whole ass form? Respectfully, of course. But how are you going to fill out this whole goddamn form saying I need the most help in a 1v3 or a 1v4 and give me a solo duo? Let's watch. Okay, solo versus duo gameplay. We got a little Caldera action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it. Okay, where's he dropping at? Look at the tents up here. That's a different landing spot. Okay, I don't mind it. Probably some decent loot over here, huh? I need to see this guy's ADS sense. If he's truly on a .45... Like, huh? That's what I need to see. How's, how's the volume for you guys? Should I turn it up a little bit? Or are you guys, are you guys happy with this? Is this volume okay with you? Let me know. Maybe just a smidgen. Uh, a smidgen more volume. Uh, I, I, did like a, I did like a smidgen more volume. Good movement. Okay. I like that. All right. This guy obviously knows what he's doing. I don't know why you reacted so slow. It, man, it really does look like a 0.45 multiplier. Marking waypoint. This guy pushed it. Kind of a weird reaction. Man, that, that ADS sense does look really, really slow. Let, let, since you asked for like advice on like 1v3s and things like that, let's try and use this fight as an example. I know it is early game, right? But like, in order to open up the fight in a 1v3 or a 1v4, you need to somehow isolate people. You guys know what isolate means? You need to force 1v1s in the particular 1v3 or 1v4 scenario, okay? So, like, how do you do that? How do you get your first knock to open up the fight? 
Usually you're on a heady. Usually you're on high ground. Usually you catch somebody off guard when they're on like a UAV. And it makes the rest of the squad scramble. You know what I mean? So like, let's say in this particular fight, this was a 1v3 instead of a 1v2 like we're watching. Okay? So he gets his first knock. That's fantastic. He catches timing. And then what? Do you, let's say there's two more guys pushing over from this way. Okay? What, what should be your immediate goal? Distance yourself a little bit, right? You have the knock. You either go for the full kill immediately with the throwing knife that you have, and then maybe reposition and get top tense again, right? Because then you, def you you need you you got the one v three down to a one v two, or it, hypothetically a one v four down to a one v three. Now you need to do the same thing again. So like when you when you're playing low ground like this, you're just asking to get overwhelmed, right? You need to put distance to give yourself a little bit of time to keep isolating these gunfights. So, like, it, in this scenario, it doesn't matter because it's a 1v2, right? But, like, and again, this this reaction's weird. You hear this guy running from a freaking mile away, right? Boom, knock. You hear footsteps now. He hears footsteps at this moment. You know where he's coming from. You know? And then he's able to also shoot, what, five, six bullets before you're even... I don't know. Weird. Nice wins, though. Nice wins. You see what I mean, though? Like, you, like let, let's keep talking about the 1v3s because that's what this guy in particular wants help with. Okay? You get the knock. You distance yourself. You get in good position. You get the knock. You, you get the finish, potentially. You back up. Distance, position. Distance, position. Distance position. Or you're just extremely better than them, which you see probably a lot of time with us streamers, where we don't give a fuck and we get the first knock and then we just completely ego chow and style on the last couple of players. And that is why you want to have like stims or quick fix or serpentine or tempered, things like that. What keeps you like relevant in the fight? Like confidence to stay in it. So like you need to isolate your first one or two knocks then realize how good or bad the, the remaining players are, and then use the knocks to your advantage because they're going to be like, oh, I got to go for a res, or oh, what do I do? Oh, what do I do? You know? So, like, it's all about maintaining composure, maintaining information, and maintaining positioning. If you don't have those things, are you going to be confident in a fight? Probably not. Right? Let's continue. Okay, quick little loady action. Let's see what he's rocking with. XM4 and a Schwelly. He's got a stim. He's got a throwing knife. Ah. 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 Not the best stim I've ever seen in the world. Get high ground. Nice shots. Calling for airstrike on my target. Two. 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 So they got the house. Grab this guy's plate. Nice shots. These guys are absolute trash cans. Ball back. Get him. Get him. Grab the plate. Throw your plate box. Like. No way you're sh like you you you. you you better not show this guy any respect. He is not good. Thank you. Yeah, just kill him. Move on with your game. Okay? Four, one, fourteen left. Let's pick up the pace a little bit here. Come on. These guys are ass. These guys are ass. These guys are ass. You, you need to immediately recognize how good or how bad the players are that you're fighting. Immediately, you're like, oh, these guys are trash. I'm going to fight them. Bang. Self. Be oh. Okay. Second loady. Let's see what he grabs. Uh, Restock? No, I personally don't think restock is worth it over like a self and UAV, personally. I think tempered is. I think high alert potentially is. But to each their own. If you like restock, go for it. That's just me. That's just me. But uh, restock snaps, you know, they're, they're kind of OP, right? All right. No ping there. Buyback right here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
Where'd you go? I miss you so. Seems like it's been forever. I feel like I'm watching Maven. Okay. I'm sorry. What am I? What am I watching? Seriously, a lot of similarities. L luckily, gets a UAV. That's awesome. Okay, you get busy. Let's go. Show me something. What are we waiting for? Beam this guy. Nice shots. Let's go. That's what I want to see. Okay, balloon. You're gonna go towards tower. You're gonna go towards the guy on the right. He's going tower. I like it. I like it. I like it. Nice snap. He's the other guy on the wall. I like it. Boom. Good positioning. Okay. Still the guy under you. What are you going to do next? Throw another snap. Find him. Nothing. Beam the buggy. Go to balloon. Oh, he's get, getting more snaps. Didn't find him. Keep fucking chucking him. Nothing there. Okay. Six with 90. This is this is a godlike lobby. Okay? This is a 30 bomb. Like like a lot of chat is drooling if they got this lobby, right? But like come on. Okay. Bots two. Oh, oh. I don't mind this reposition. You're fine. Stay composed. Keep the roof. You have one more snap. Use it. Do something off of the snap for the love of God. Nice shot. Take your time. Replayed up. Challenge the other guy. Let's freaking move here, man. These guys are ass. Stop. Stop showing so much respect. Find him. Find him. Go in. Literally use your movement to just figure out where he is. Okay. Get him. Please. Nice. Got him. Cool. D okay. Too much respect being given. Teep, I struggle with 1v3s and 1v4s. Yeah. I can tell. What are we what, what are we doing? Like, go, move, 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 move. Find them, find them, find them, find them, find them. A finesse, jump up, positioning, outplay them. Outplay them over and over again. There's no confidence. You're, ne you're like playing like this, you're never going to win a 1v4. Just never. You're relying on snaps for the, all of your awareness, which I think is like a crutch, right? And then you're not doing anything off of the snaps anyway. What's the point? Might as well run stims with restock, right? Run around. If you get shot at, use the stim to, to get the heal going again and get back up fucking top, you know? Like, the gunfights are fine, but like, the, like these guys are all extremely bad players that he's fighting against, right? And that's why, like, if, if I saw he was fighting against some people who were slide canceling and and throwing a shoulder at a window and doing this and finessing around, right? You 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 adjust your gameplay. These guys are all staring at the floor and crab walking. Why why am I seeing respect being shown in the gameplay? You want to be good at 1v4s? What are we doing? Why why are these fights taking so long? Like play with some balls. I'm not I'm not screaming at him. Am I being too mean? Okay, man. Listen, I think I think this guy has a lot of potential. But the reason I say I feel like I'm watching Maven is Maven 95% of the time is better than than the entire lobby. And when I see someone like Maven, right, sh doing this, like showing respect, not just going at people, it pisses me off. It pisses me off. And I'm seeing a lot of like similar things here. I want, I want, I just want, I want to see more confidence. And the faster you play and the faster you take advantage of these situations, the better you're going to get. Still on a pretty good game, though. 77 left. Lobby's kind of holding. Eight. Let's go. You see some, uh, sees a little action up the hill here. Oh, hello. Thank you, baby. That he's got me. Oh. Let me pause this real quick. 
Yeah, it's mine and DJ's uh, anniversary today. And look at what she got me. One sec. Aww. Okay, back to work. All right, everyone get relocked. Yep. Greedy. Thank you very much. For a nice bottle of sake. Ooh, -wee. A little sake action. Chat, you like sake? I do. Mm. Cold or hot? Cold for me. Cold for me. Cold sake. Sock me, so sock me in the face. Wait, what? Nice shot. It's lovely to see it. Shots. Sense seems seems too slow. Yeah, I don't really know yet. I mean, the shots are fine though. You know, I feel like the accuracy as a whole is pretty good. I okay. So, uh, Smith, thanks for the five gifted. The more that I watch people who use restock snapshots, the more that I realize it's just like a. I think it makes you like worse. I think it makes you less aware and like that, you know, how long does a snapshot take to pop? Like a, like a second, right? Most of the time when you acknowledge that people are there, the time that it takes for the entire animation and, and for the snapshot to actually pop, it like takes too much time. You know, it's like combat scouts a little bit different because you're already like shoot actively shooting at people, right? So that's where I think Combat Scout is, like, it's still a crutch, don't get me wrong. But it, it's it's very different. Like, the time that it takes for the snapshot to actually, you know, hit them, you, like, you usually know they're there anyway. I don't know. I just don't know if snapshots are the play if you're trying to play, like, a like a sweaty style, you know? A couple more pings. I like the aggression here. Come on, show me something. Show me something. Nice shots, dude. Like, you guys keep saying, like, the, the sense isn't where it needs to be. But, like, that's clean right there. Yes. This is what I like. Yes. More of this. Where is this all game? Uh, like, okay. How come all of a sudden you whip your balls out? Now, I'm not, I'm not advocating for people to whip their balls out IRL. But, it, like, theoretically whip your balls out. What happened? How come all of a sudden you're like, oh, these guys are going to get shit on? What happened? Like, yes, this. Snapped. Boom. Finesse. Plate. He had the confidence from UAV. There's other times during the game where he had UAV that he didn't do this. What do you mean? This. Do that. Like that. That. That's what I want to see. Boom. Beams. Get that knock. Get that knock. Go. 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 Sna see? Good snapshot. I like this. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Do something off of it. Do something off of it. Beam him. Freebie. Boom. Bots. Where's the other one at? He spotted him by the tree, I think I saw him. Beam this guy too. Probably just realized he was fighting bots. I mean, I guess my thought process is like, you need to keep the same confidence though, no matter what until you recognize the type of players that you're playing against. That's the point that I'm trying to get across. You know what I'm saying, dude. All right, 40 left, 14 kills. Let's, let's, let's keep it going. Tips with Teep is always a good way to start my Tuesday with. Thank you, buddy. This is some old gameplay doesn't have the new HUD. True. But we can still learn even off of older gameplay. Nice snapshot. Get on the tent. Why? Uh, we're watching this again. Okay, here's a shot. Push up a little bit. You see both. Hello? Okay. I guess, I guess you just like don't see him or something. I like the snapshot. You immediately should be getting on top of the tent here. It's just way too good of a spot. 
Like you're giving them, you're giving them a chance here. Okay, that is, yeah. Now you're in the absolute crap show. Get yeah, Mixie, come on. You know what to do. Take your time. Play back up. Just calm it down. Calm it down. You're good. All these guys are ass. No plate. What is chill? See, like, where's your... I, 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 I hate this. I, I hate this. After what I saw when you fought those guys at that other house where you got Mixie for a second, I hate this a lot. What? Like, put them away, dude. Put stims on. Delete snapshots from your class. I don't like it. How are you going to 1v4 somebody ever playing like this? Stop. I don't like it. Where'd the confidence go? Yes, I realize there's like a lot of people around you. But like, here, here's what I like. Let's watch how you play this. You realize another team's pulling up. You're like, uh-oh. Then you get shot in the back. You react just fine. You make it to the tent. You should be already plating when you go into this tent. You catch this guy. You shoot him a little bit, right? This is Your immediate thought right here is, number one, I'm going to kill all these guys. This is perfect. I don't think you have that thought. Number two, get your armor back up there, chief. Okay? Get your, get your plates back up. And then you immediately, like, just try and catch timings on people. You try and just camera people at these tents and you keep moving. You keep moving. You keep moving. You slide out. You see if you catch timing. You kill one. You go back in, right? You keep we bobbing and weave, bobbing and weaving. In and out. In and out. Boom. Peek. Nope, not the chow. Peek. Yep, that's the chow. Got a kill. Back in the tent. Finesse. Jump up top. Jump back down. Slide cancel out. Camera this guy. Go back and forth. Like here. And what do we watch? No I'm scared. I'm scared. Now there's an airstrike on your head, which is tough. Nice win. Grab more plates, plate back up. Okay, you get good timing on the snapshot. That's fantastic. Keep moving! I'm gonna keep it a buck. Might as well just run a heartbeat. Not for nothing. I respect the snaps and aggro. Solid player for sure. No. You're in a gulag now. The the snapshots are making him not aggro. That's the problem. Are are we missing the point here? I know I'm trying to be a I'm kind of being a dick right here, but the guy told me on the on the submission form to like hold him accountable. He wants to hear the feedback. He wants the real talk. So here I am. Like, no, he's not aggro. That's the problem. He should be. This guy is so much better. This is a really crappy lobby, and he's playing he also so slow the and scared. Box long time ago to maximize plates. Doesn't matter. He like you get plates off of killing all these people. You don't need a plate box. 
You guys actually do that to me a lot. I don't care about the plate box. I'm going to get my plates off of all these people that I'm going to smoke. You know, it like slows you down. You keep pace. My fault him a bit late. Stims would keep have been pace. a better tactic. Like, where's the pace in these situations? There's no flow, right? And that's my problem with it. There's no flow. This guy has had a flow in like one scenario this game. And then realistically for how he's using these snapshots too, you might as well run a different second perk and just run. You don't need restock with a heartbeat, right? Like if, if you really feel unaware and you need, you, you know, why, why run from, why not just run a heartbeat? If you want to know where people are, you know? Nice gulag. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> no way. He kind of like went through the car. Okay. <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> that was so random. Okay. I can tell that it's a... 2kd player playing and i can tell there's not nearly enough confidence to consistently want want to take people on in 1v3s and 1v4s the, the whole approach just seems off like not nearly enough focus on positioning not nearly enough awareness to keep the pressure on in fights not nearly enough movement to keep the flow like momentum in your favor like you got to keep moving around the map. You got to keep breaking the cameras. You got to keep sliding corners and bunny hopping corners. You got to keep, you got to keep them guessing a little bit, right? So like all this stuff, like we only saw it in like one scenario in this entire gameplay where like the aggression, like you, like he was actually about it, right? There just needs, I need to see more of that. It's a good player, right? Shots are fine. Maybe, 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 maybe not could bump the sense up, but like, I'm not going to focus on the guy's aim. That's not even the problem, right? He's in a, like, he was obviously outclassing the majority of the people in the lobby. There just needs to be like, just way more confidence. I, I think the snapshots are just really slowing down the flow of the fights. Like most of the time he's getting audio, like very clear audio on most of these guys. He's getting a lot of pings on the, on the mini map. Maybe not enough minimap awareness either, but it seemed like it was fine. Yeah, it's just like, I think the snapshots are just kind of hurting more than they're helping from, from what I watched right here. One thing I do want to comment, right, is there's, I, I, throughout this entire video that we've reviewed, there's, I've read at least 100 to 150 comments of people like kind of talking shit on this guy's gameplay. And this guy's better than 90 percent of people who play this game there's a lot of people that come in here and they want to give advice i was like well how good are, like how good are you right are, are you know are you are you constantly 1v3 in people probably not are you constantly 1v4 in people probably not are you on a call dairy game dropping 15 per probably not you might think you are but you're not so like i guess what i'm trying to get at here is just don't be disrespectful about it there's a way to give feedback by not being a fucking cock. Uh, overall, though, nice gameplay. Good submission. A lot of good feedback that I can give on this one, right? There's so many, like, simple things that this guy can do to get a lot better, right? And honestly, just, like, get on the rebirth and get mixy. Like, get, get confident moving around more in fights. Get confident being at the disadvantage. Get confident having to finesse around people, you know? Thank you for the submission, CB. I appreciate you very much. Thank you very much. Can we get a W in the chat for CB? Very good submission. I like it. And hopefully I wasn't too mean. That's not the goal of this, right? Up next, we have Dirk. Mac Attack. 8 to 12 hours a week. PS5. 9-9. Nine, nine. Not sure what that controller is. Needs a scuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't ha doesn't have any specs of the monitor, so I can't give comments on like how good that is. We know it's 32 inches, though. Never heard of that before. Uh, I'm a 46-year-old player. 46, damn. Let's go. And just started playing in October 2020. Very recent. So, like, getting close to two years. 
feel in love with Warzone and want to keep the vibe going. I'm a 1.07 KD in Rebirth and 0.82 in Caldera. When I started Warzone, of course, uh, I died a lot to try to catch up. So this guy is like kind of behind the curve. He's just getting into it. He's just getting into it. I like that. Uh, struggling with gameplay overall. Stupid mistakes like timing and gunfights and awareness and what to do. If I should loot, challenge a gunfight, or escape. Okay, so this is an entirely different vibe we're going for here. This guy, I mean this very respectfully. This guy is behind the curve, an older player. He's going to be a bot, okay? We have to give different feedback for someone like this compared to the person we just watched. So everyone just keep get in that frame of mind when we watch this one. German action. Okay, uh, this guy's on PS5. He's on 9-9. Let's see what we're working with here. Sorry. Easy kills. Love to see it. Uh, okay, Lodi. Uh, Cooper Carbine and an MP40 short barrel. Okay. Decent enough loadout. Probably could be rocking one of the meta guns, if I'm being honest. Like, I guess here's my thought. Feel free to disagree. But, like... If you don't play the game a lot, like, I'd be rocking the meta shit, man. Let's say, like, I play 50 hours a week. But if I only played, like, 10, like, casually, I, like, I'm going to maximize my time. And I'm rocking meta stuff only ever, you know? It's really hard to level up the meta if you don't play enough. Yeah, I guess it's, I don't know. I feel like it's not, I feel like they've made it so much easier to level up guns and stuff, though. So, like... I don't know if I agree with that. Any, like, it's not that hard to level up anymore. It used to be. Don't get me wrong. But, like, now? I don't know. Hinter der Kiste. Sieht mich. Verbündeter Präzisionsluftschlag kommt. Achtung. Rennt nach Richtung Auto. Rennt nach Richtung Auto. Right, let's go. Oh shit, I oh, I like the German language because they sound mad and intense all the time. Nice. Yo, Tochan and uh, Firefighter. Appreciate you. Appreciate the resubs. The random cussing in English always gets me. I know. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, okay. Take your time. Ooh, that's way further left. Yep. Like up the hill a little bit. Yep. There you go. Play back up. I call Spartan. Oh, I heard him. Nice. I like it. Decoy. Come on. He's messing up the slide cancel. Yeah, another team holding him on top of the hill. Take your time. Play back up. Tempered might be clutch here. Yeah, you can't go for the res. Ooh, risky. Oh, they didn't push. Okay. What are these stims? <laughs> That's the second stim that just has made no sense. That's just the Cooper Carbine right there. Those shots, like they're not, they're not like fantastic, but they're not bad either. Like if he has a different gun here, you know, this gun's just weak. Like NZ, he's getting both of those like super easy, you know? SCG is probably getting one. Did the balloon? I like it. Rotates pass. You're gonna try and hold these guys on the rotation. I like it. I like it. Team this other guy too. Yep. Take your time. Reposition. Play back up. Mm -hmm. 
Cinny39, appreciate you. Ooh, didn't see him. Oh, tough. Oh, no! Ah. Did, did, I hear a did I hear a controller slam here? <laughs> I can't he's close to it. Oh, you're crazy for this. What you doing, man? <laughs> I respect it. You're a psycho though. Nice. Okay, good win. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oops. The, the trigger, the trigger finger starts to heat up there, bro. <laughs> Watch. This shit revs up. Watch this. Like first, first couple are slow, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I like it. Good kill. Uh oh. Uh, finesse. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Ended up behind him. Okay. Already getting naded. Tough. Oh, no. Cried. Links, links, links. Yep. What am I looking at here? What gun is this? What were those guns? Uh oh. The panic melee. That gun is going all over the place. Okay. Here's what I got. Mac attack, you here? It's the Snoop Dogg sniper. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The shot's fine. The awareness is fine. The comms are fine. I definitely take the time to level up some meta weapons. That is going to net... They're just way too good right now. Those are going to net you... At least an extra like five kills a game, I, I would say. It's just that broken right now. Um, we'll see what happens with the new season, though. I don't know if they're gonna make any changes. Um, it, it I, for me, it comes down to like the movement. Like you're very, very clunky, and there's a lot of times like you you need to get mechanically better. And what I mean by that is your slide cancel, like mo like half of your slide cancels, if not more, that game. You're not hitting like you you keep uh you keep messing them up, and it like makes your movement not fluid at all so i think you go you should go in like a private match and really get that muscle memory down of that slide cancel over and over and over and over and over and over until it, it looks like you're almost trying to do it too fast so like make sure you get that first slide like give it give it a little bit more time there's like a flow to it so that's number one i think you getting the the movement down will give you a lot more confidence in close range fights let me see if i can find like a, a decent situation where i can show that I call Spartan. see like right there you did it again and like right here, this is this is a perfect situation where you like slide cancel in and just catch the guy off guard even more.
yeah it, like give it a little bit more time on that first slide so like slide cancel slide cancel like I, I feel like you're just doing the doing it a little bit too fast and then there's a lot of times where you can like uh like triangle triangle or why why your way out of animations so like when you pick up guns and stuff if you do like a quick triangle triangle it is like if you get used to just doing a lot of these mechanical things it'll just make your gameplay a lot more fluid other than that i mean it seems like there's a lot of confidence there besides that it's more just like overall focus on your positioning you're being laid on rotation you're not really holding the best areas of the map you're just kind of like fighting wherever you can find people which is cool right it's it's fun but like if you really want to start focusing on like getting to, to later games in better situations more often start focusing on the rotations a little bit more but like that one situation where you ballooned ahead and you got you end up dying which is unlucky this situation where you take the balloon you rotate out of, uh, in front of these guys like this type of stuff is really really good definitely keep this stuff up catch one you don't you don't see this guy on the left right here react a little bit slow on this repeat Hast du den zweiten? Der ist hier drüben Nein. irgendwo. He like works down left a little bit. Get caught, which is tough. And then um yeah, the one harsh thing I will say is your stims were just they just make zero sense to me, you know? St most of the time you want to use stims as like a like a bailout if you're really taking a lot of damage or being focused by multiple people. So like, yeah, your stims were, your stims were shit. <laughs> Other than that, bro, I don't know. You just, uh, you got to get the mechanics down a little bit more to sort of hit the next level, right? But once you get to that point, I think the lobbies that you're in, you'll probably just start absolutely smoking people. But yeah, overall, good gameplay. Thank you so much for the submission. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, W's in the chat for Mac Attack. Work on those mechanics. Keep grinding. Unlock some of the meta guns. Get the stims better. Work up, like work on the timing of the slide cancels. And yeah, that like that'll give you so much more confidence in the uh, the close range fights. Straight up, dude.